All right, guys, we're gonna try something fun today. We are gonna do a quick turnaround of the car. And uh, in doing so, you guys were gonna uh, check out something that most people don't really check uh, when it comes to drones. So first of all, let me double check the FN and zoom works all the way to four. That's pretty good, okay, awesome. Awesome, so it kept the settings um, that we had yesterday. We can take the drone up. Um, Hubson would not allow me to do this earlier, so, but I am in control. And take off. The home can point fly has off been the updated. Please check it on the map. On top of your roof, no problem. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is, uh, we're gonna circle around the vehicle real quick, and I'm gonna show you something that you would not expect. So first, we'll just move around the car real quick. And I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna point it at the car. Here we go, this is the car. So you guys can see what's going on. It is a little bit windy, sadly, which is annoying at the very least. There we go. I'm gonna come out a little bit more and check out what you can see. Oh, little bird wanted to be in the shot. It's kind of cool. Let's take a quick look. The vehicle. Again, I'm gonna move so that we can get a nice shot of the vehicle. There we go. Nice spot here to shoot. I'm keeping that car nice and shot, nice and focused. Let's take a look at that plate real quick. We'll do the zoomity zoom, FM zoom. We will have to gimbal it down a little bit in order to get it to where we want it to be. And look at that. Look at how well DJI changes its settings so that you can see what's going on in there. We'll go in a little bit closer. Forward just a little bit and down a little bit. And we can see that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? So how much can DJI though see, let's say, if, if they weren't, this is, uh, the drone is about maybe two meters. Uh, I'm gonna bring it further up. So just about two meters away. So how much can it actually see if we go up a little bit? How much can it actually see inside a vehicle? Because that's something that people might wanna know about. The DJI Mini 2 cannot see a whole lot at this distance. So imagine if it were like way, way further, how much would it be able to see into a car? We're gonna scooch it and go across and let's see how well it can see inside a car. Look how close we have to be in order to be able to see something inside a car. And this is with the, um, with the door wide open. So then we can do the same test on the other side and see what, what it does. Notice in there you've got the amazing Ishin truck and the Hubson Zeno SE Mini. Wow, that's a tongue twister right there. And we can go to the front of the car a little bit and see what we can see. Here we go, slowly but surely. Again, this is Fully zoomed in at four zoom. And the sun is uh, making it difficult to see what's on the sign. So we'll move it in a slightly better position. Go down a little bit more to the right. I'm gonna stand right next to the drone. You can hear it, but not really, it's so quiet. We 
getting closer to the car. Still not hitting the car. Let's see how close we can get to the car. A little bit to the right, a little bit down. Not bad, but you can't really fully see all the writing. So, how close do you need to get to be able to see the writing really, really well? Let's scooch it to the left a little bit more. Whoa, overdid it. When you're fully zoomed in, um, it becomes a little bit of a problem, and the wind is sort of kind of in the way. So, Look how stable it is. It's windy today, and it's just keeping that hover like a champ. Like a, whoa, it just won't stay that one. Let's lift the drone a little bit. Let's go up a little bit more and see. Look how windy it is, you can tell. But it's holding its position like a champ, as I said before. Lift, 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 lift. We will go to the right a little bit more. So in order to be able to see inside a vehicle, especially the front, the, uh, the drone needs to be very, very close. Let's gimbal it down a little bit, and then we'll go up a little bit. And to the right and up a little bit more. Let's see here. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the drone gently in a slightly safe spot, and then I'm going to enter the vehicle, and we're going to go around the vehicle a little bit with me being inside the vehicle and see what that's all about. I'm going to do a, uh, a zoom outage because it's, sometimes it's harder to, to fly if you're fully zoomed in. And let's see what we can do here real quick. There's an awesome school bus in the back there, so. And we're gonna get some nice acoustics because we're in the car. We're in the car here. So we got some really nice acoustics. Look at that school bus. The school bus looks amazing. Actually, there's more than one. And uh, if we gimbal it up, and I always get confused which way is up. For the love of Pete, for the love of Maverick. Um, anyhow, so let's zoom zoom away. Those buses are amazing, by the way. The main point here is that we're going to take a look at ourselves and see what we look like in the car. And uh, up we go, up we go, back we go, back we go. We're going to go higher than most vehicles could be if they're if the car decides to come through here, which they shouldn't because this is a completely deserted parking lot and the only imbecile, <laughs> again, embellished, embellished seal, that's what it means, embellished seal, would be me. All right, so I am above the vehicle. The DJI Mini is exactly in my line of sight. I can see it perfectly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see something like obstacles in my way, although there aren't any obstacles in my way, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. This thing is a champ. It's a champ. Okay, let's zoom in on that pesky marker of views. Man, look at him. He's so conniving. <laughs> Boy, is he conniving. Look at him. He's absolutely deplorable. Anyway, um, hello, hello. We could do this so you could see my face even even more no no you don't want to do that that that'd be that'd be super scary we don't want to scare the audience this is still sort of kid friendly right i try i try but sometimes sometimes you know like some things just come out of you and you and you just can't help yourself anyhow so let's uh let's take a quick look at this vehicle right now and just go whoa 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 come on come on what was that what was that by the way, I am filming currently in cine mode, so we should be able to make those very gentle and nice swooping maneuvers around the vehicle. The vehicle! It's très fantastique. Uh, 
La vie que est très fantastique. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just making sounds, making sounds. Um, I lived in Switzerland for a long time, so my French is, is pretty good, but it's rusty as heck. Unfortunately, it is rusty as heck because I haven't used it. If I, if I watch one of, the, one of the videos and stuff, I can still understand the language, no problem. But, uh, but there are issues with me being able to write because it's really hard. Like, as a, dyslex as a dyslexic person, it's hard to write in English. Can you imagine how much harder it is in French with all those little accent things? In, it in Italian, it was, it, was, it was pretty bad, too. We've got accents in Italian, too. Uh, I would have to say, Questo drone è fantastico, è bellissimo, è formidabile. There we go. We could, uh, we could do some Italian. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm no, I'm no Matt LeBlanc. I'm no... And plus, you're not supposed to say Blanc. You're supposed to say Matt uh, LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so funny. Je m'appelle... Je m'appelle. He should have said. Instead, he goes la boo boo. Hilarious, that guy. Hilarious. What a great show. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can do these really cool things. I can go the other way too. Nothing stopping me from going the other way, other than my own stupidity, which you know. Um, we would like to say that that no animals, objects, or people were harmed in the making of this movie. Um, so we need to make sure that we, we do that, that we do make sure that that actually happens. So, but anyway, the worst that could happen here is probably that I would, uh, that I would crash the drone or the drone hits the car and you guys would laugh like crazy. And, um, you'd be like, do that again, do that again. Um, but yeah, we don't want any real accidents to happen. So that's why. I'm very careful in what I am doing right now. Um, there is about 54% battery about... When we hit about 40, I'm going to change out the battery and we can do this again. But this already proves uh, my point that DJI is super stable and very useful. We did we did a nice video yesterday uh, where we had a cool, um, cool flight over the, the plane. And now I can uh, gimbal it down. And down is up of course it is of course it is down is up of course it is down is always up ah oh, i will never get around this thing for for me that that's that's hard that's hard if i want to go up i press up but the gimbal works the opposite of how my brain works so brain works that can be a thing take a quick look at the car Man, it is no wonder that this was the PlayStation of the car world. This was definitely the PlayStation of the car world for a while. And I'm not sure if you can, if you can finally buy one now, but for a while uh, it was. So anyway, I'm going to drop this down. Uh, I'm going to do 50% and I'm going to change out the battery so we can do one more or a few more flights with this. So I want to get a, a few more awesome uh, shots of this car. It is so cool. Anyway, I'm biased. I'm very biased because I've been with Toyota for a very, very long time. And I'm just comfortable with this vehicle. So anyway, let's put this down. Um, wow, look at those birds. They just wanted to be part of the show. They just, just jumped in right in the camera shot. All right, let's put this, uh, let's gimbal it up. Is gimbal up now going to work the way that I want it to? I kind of got gimbal up. This, this time. This time, although it was jerky as heck. Oh, we are experiencing some issues. I'm going to get out of the car. We do not like breakup in our videos. We do not like breakup in our videos. It's just something that I'm not I'm not comfortable with. Uh, not on a digital drone. 
if it were analog, it wouldn't be a big big issue, but because there's always going to be breakup on on analog. But all right, let's put this bird down. Come on, little bird, come, 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 come. We're on our way out of here. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next Landing. one. Take care, guys. Oi. Awesome, cool beans of all kinds. Let's put that up there. Wait, what, what happened to the gimbal? Can't see. What can't see? Not much. I'm not sure what's going on. It went haywire, but that's cool because the plane is down. Z drone! Z drone! The drone is down. I don't know. Can it see any? Oh, I can see something. I think maybe. Oh, it's all gimbaled. It's all. Uh, sorry, zoomed. Zoomed. Zoomily zoomed. And that's why it was doing that funky thing. Play that funky music. Uh, Jackson. Okay. Wait a sec. <laughs> there, there we go. Um. We've got it. We've got it down. And now we've got a special chin. Because because of the uh, the sun angle, it gives me a special chin. Look at that. That is extra, extra glorious. Anyway, um, here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little turnaround of the thing. 40% uh, is plenty of time to get myself a new battery and start it up all over again. Um, I don't know. Let me double check that this thing is still recording. We could. It's still recording. So, technically, technically, I could just dump out the battery and, and stick another one in and see what that does. Um, so, let's see for a sec. We press. We want to make sure to turn it off as correctly as possible, which didn't happen. Oh, no, it did. It did it good. It freezed the, um, the image. So maybe I don't have to do this in multiple videos. It can all be done in one. I don't know. Nobody's going to watch this video because there's no violence. There's no crashing yet. Hopefully there won't be no crashing. Um, so yeah, nobody's going to watch this video. They're going to go watch all the videos about Miss Pelosi because that's more important important more fun to watch apparently apparently anyway so um the home point has been updated there we go. please so check there, it on the map one, there was one um guy or i can't remember if it was a guy or a girl anyway who commented uh on the channel like so why do you keep calling her hairy nancy is it because is it because she's uh, hairy and it's like no 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 so i had to really step it back there um although in italian pelosi pelosi means uh Harry, that's not why I call her Harry. And also, when I write it down on the um, on the videos, I always spell it like Harry Potter, Harry. And it's because uh, she gets into a lot of Harry business. But anyway, and she has and she has fantastic hair um, that everybody was envious of, um, because during the pandemic she was the only one who was uh, entitled and allowed to go to the hairdresser or to the spa. So she was probably the smoothest lady in town. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> she was definitely the, the envy of the world, well, of America at least. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's, that's, uh, that's why I, I would, uh, you know, I don't have a death wish um, and I would never say that about a lady. So if you see that on my channel where I say Harry Nancy, referring to Pelosi, it's, uh, it's because she's into a lot of Harry business, Harry business, like Harry Potter. Anyway, uh, did you guys see the the latest Harry Potter at uh, in New York? They have this Broadway show. It's a, uh, it's brand new. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's a good segue there. And uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start flying this thing, because um, I've humiliated myself once more. So let's just get this done and over with. Let's get another nice flight out here. And that might be the last one for the day because I gotta go and uh, it's getting late and I've gotta go to do some gassing up and possibly some 
Um, some quick stuff for the fam, for the fam. So we'll do a quick video out here and we'll be up and running. Do a quick takeoff. Look at that school truck. Take off. The home point has school been updated. Bus, Please say. check it on the, the map. Wheels, the wheels go round and round, don't they? Which is kind of awesome. Just get back up there. I'll move away so I'm not as... The wind will probably do stuff to the microphone. But that's okay. We'll do another nice round. I want to make sure there's no cars in the way. It is... Oh, look! Actually, over there... Just down there, let's use that special zoom. Look at that. I'm gonna yaw a little bit to the left and we're gonna say, punch buggy, no backs. Look at that. How cool is that? A yellow buggy, that is so cool. Anyway, remember Herbie? Remember Herbie? That, that's, uh, I always wanted to have a nice Herbie-like RC body on one of the cars. So that's something that I'm thinking of getting at some point or 3D printing, so... Anyway, let's take a nice... revolution... around... let's revolve around this object. Oh, look! It's that scary, awful, conniving Mark Reviews. Look at him. He's horrible. He's really, really... horribly horrible. We'll go straight over the vehicle without hitting it. Look at that. We could do that. We could do that with DJI. Woohoo! All right, anyway, so let's get a little bit closer to do a nice zoomage sort of video of this thing. Let's go right in front of the car. I can see it in in my eyeballs. I can see it in my eyeballs and I can see it on the screen so that we can sort of get that nice footage that we want. We'll get closer. Don't slam into it. Don't slam into it. You can go up just a little bit, just up a little bit. And then we can gimbal it down. Can I get gimbal it down this time? Oh, it looks like I gimbaled it down. A little bit. That was just enough. Whoa, that was too fast. Calm down with the speed, huh? Can't read the text too well. Let's go right on top. Yeehaw. And she'll spin it back. And gimbal it. I set up. I set up. <laughs> there we go. So that's the one thing that I'm still struggling with. I think, as a um, as a pilot, is gimbal up, gimbal down. The zoom. I've I've got the zoom down pretty well. But I'm still working on the gimbal up and gimbal down. That still gives me a bit of a struggle. But anyway, we'll do a lot more of these flights to practice because this is a nice, safe place. And also you could do active track with the Hubson Mini SE. Uh, I'm going to bring the Arma and a bunch of other fun things so that we can do that. And look at that. I mean, this is, this is fun. Fun for me. I'm going to bring this down. Swooping. I'm swooping. I'm swooping. Shoop, shoop, shoop. I could just land it on top of the... on top of the car if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a nice person. Not do that. Sort of. I don't know about nice person. Let's put it down. Put it down. Landing. So there we go. That was the flight of the day. It has gotten relatively loud here, so we just head back inside to end the video. But before we do, check out that awesome orange balloon. 
Uh, you could ride that. I think there was a time where I was able to ride it. I don't know if that's the one, but it could be. It could be the one, the only balloon that you get to ride on here in Irvine, California. Um, but, you know, it could be wrong. It could be right. You'll never know. It's a perfect time and segue because right now it is close to uh, 9.30, so I could go and uh, do some gas up, which is much needed and required at this time. So we'll do that. And uh, I've got to take off all the stuff off the vehicle, all the uh, Google and marker review stuff. I've got to take all that stuff out and get out of here. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. I wish I could have done this live, but, you know, <laughs> DJI doesn't want to put, act, uh, you know, doesn't want to put uh, active track on their uh, DJI Mini 2, and they don't want to fix the uh, issues with live streaming. So I'm hoping that they will in future, but, you know, guess who, guess who listened about active track and, uh, and actually got it done? Hubson. Hubson has amazing active track that I just demonstrated today, and that, that video was going to be up there too for you guys to watch. So anyway, some companies do listen and others do not. And uh, again, would I have bought the Avatar if it had been under 250 grams? Yes, 100%. Uh, I would have. I would have found. I would have like been on the phone, cold calling every single like um, investor that I could possibly think of. And I would have asked them to help me out to get the Avatar. But the Avatar was, was built just like the FPV. So I've been waiting a long time to get into the DJI FPV. And, uh, and they just didn't listen. They just did not want to make something under 250 grams. After all the stuff that's been going on, they just wouldn't listen. Well, no, they listened. They just stuck it to us. That's, that's what they did. Um, <laughs> but at least we have Hubson. Hubson has created at least active track. Their tracking has gotten so good on the Hubson Mini SE that it is just it is just gonna make my day and my year, I guess, at this point, because I'm gonna be doing like all the videos of the Arma and um, Red Cat racing vehicles and the high financements and the other little truck. I'm gonna see what we can do with the tracking on that, and maybe even like see if it can track uh, track while uh, the thing ramps to see if it will still be able to track we'll see we'll do tests on that and uh yeah man man this is this is really really revolutionary if there's one thing that's revolutionary it is the active track on the hubson mini sc anyway um I'm sure dji is gonna love this video and is gonna spend a lot of money to make sure that it doesn't get out <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a great day.